Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte if you're new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you my working from home setup. I've worked at home for a long time now and this is just how I work, what I use, what my desk space looks like. So if you want to see more then keep watching. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that this is my desk and I'm going to give you a proper tour of it today, as I mentioned in the intro. Now, a lot of people will probably be thinking, why is it in the middle of your living space? But for me, this is what works. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've got three kids and I actually prefer having the ability to work in the thick of it because I found when I was in my other half's office which is through here and um, if that door was closed the kids would keep coming in and distracting both of us if they needed us at any point and um, mainly throughout lockdown and stuff and i also found like it was too close for comfort with him he does a completely different job to me and it was very noisy when he was on calls i would get distracted i'm sure i distracted him and to be honest i prefer this view i like more natural light i like being able to chill out with my little uh, office buddy here who's sleeping at the moment and it gives me a lot more flexibility because if the kids need us he's not being distracted because my job is a lot more flexible so I used to work in this corner on a pop-up desk for a long time which didn't really fit with the overall vibe in here and I decided to upgrade it earlier on this year. Uh, this desk itself is really slim and minimal, and I liked the fact that it had shelving within it. It's actually from Ikea, as a lot of our furniture is, um, as is the stool here, like the desk chair, and I've got this little faux fur rug to make it look more comfortable, but also soften the whole area, so it doesn't look too out of place in this space. But to be honest, when you come in through the far door over there, you don't really see it. Um, so this is my little nook. I have a radiator next to me when it's cold. I've got an old map of the area where we live. And then I have some um, musical theatre posters for like three of my favourite shows. And I just love this little nook and I find that it can work really well. So let's walk you through everything. Um, immediately, obviously you'll notice the desk, as I said before, is from Ikea. It is just perfect for this space. It's really neat and compact and tidy, but you do still have storage. So I have this drawer here where I've got things like stamps, uh, phone case covers. I've got these cases for when we go in like pools and stuff. We'll take them to the beach on holiday. They're great. Keep those in there. I have my wireless headphones and then like little things I need to remember like party invites and things like that. And then in this drawer over here, we have just some more like technical bits, any wires that I need, my old phone that's a bit busted, but I do keep just in case, my new phone case, um, some hand cream and some Cubs badges that I need to sew on or stick on. <laughs> and then this bottom drawer here is basically organized so that I have like receipts and any paperwork stored in here. I have my Cricut paper cutter there as well. Got a few little bits at the bottom, like some artwork that the kids have done for me for like Mother's Day. And I like to keep those nearby. And it's just great for hiding things away. I also keep my tripod stand there and I also have a ring light which I keep in our garage which is just through that door and straight to the right. So it's really accessible for me. Now my computer is um, an iMac. It's not a brand brand new one. Um, I've had it a few years now but I typically like to work on Apple products. My phone is obviously an iPhone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think it is. Um, so I work primarily on this. I will edit mainly on um, iMovie just because I can still do what I need to do and achieve what I need to achieve on that. But um, one thing that I've been struggling with is obviously like 
this space because I need a big screen to be able to edit these videos and it was proving a little bit difficult to sort of manage that and then work on other stuff at the same time. Keeping eye on my emails, if there are edits for example, I would have to close this screen, open up another one or like minimise them. So as an example, if I minimise this now, it just makes everything a little bit harder to use and recently I've been testing out this BenQ monitor. Now I've heard of BenQ before, I don't know if you will have but Mark actually has one in his office as well and they are fantastic I'll include some footage of when it arrived it arrived when I was still in my pajamas a few weeks back and um, so I had to open it right away because I was so excited but I will show you basically how it all works so this isn't the first time I've used um, an additional monitor because when I actually used to work in the same place that Mark does now we would commonly use these either synced up to an iMac or a MacBook Pro something like that just because it gave us more flexibility with hot desking but also gave us a bigger view enabled us to do our jobs properly Mark works in code so he definitely needs one usually one screen will be for code and one screen will be for the website that he's working on so he can see how you know everything's working out and whether he needs to make any amendments to what he's writing at the time um but something that i just love about this firstly putting it together was really really easy um i really especially liked that when i was screwing the base on there was a little pin bit that came out that meant you could screw it together without using any tools which i just thought was genius i mean why don't more things come like that but as you can see you can very easily adjust it to the same height as your existing monitor you could have it lower if you wanted to you could have it higher if you wanted to and it also moves really easily as well so it's so easy to adjust you can also tilt it as well so you can deflect it from certain light sources if you need to and um, i just prefer to have mine level with my screen because i find it to be a little bit more seamless now i went for a smaller size screen and i will leave the exact one linked down below um but it's so easy to set up and use and um, at least on a mac which is obviously what i use and um, your computer will recognize it straight away and they will just sync accordingly so it has a power cable and a thunderbolt cable which syncs to my mac and then i am good to go so i can do things at the same time so if you've never used one of these before you'll see my mouse here on this screen and i literally just keep scrolling and now it is over here and it's just brilliant in terms of making my work a little bit more accessible to me i will often create content and then i will have edits that i want to run through and it's just so much easier to have these edits here for me while i have this on screen so i can flip between the two and it's really upped my work game i was having huge issues with this mac so i went through it i installed some software to help me clear it to make it faster i upgraded it and then having this at the same time Time has just made my working environment so much better. Other features I really like are the fact that it has brightness intelligent technology so it adjusts accordingly to your surroundings, low blue light plus technology which is better for your eyes and a flicker free technology as well. There's a microphone, USB connectivity if you need it and obviously they're just fantastic. I know that for me, I've worked from home now for a very, very long time. But for those of you who might be still adjusting to this and are moving to do it more full time with your job, I can definitely recommend getting an additional screen. And I'll quickly show you Mark's as well to show what an alternative setup would be. So this is Mark's office at the front of the house. And as you can see, he has a BenQ monitor as well. And his is a little bit larger than mine. He will normally have his laptop on the stand here and we'll sink between the two of them again and he also has an adjustable desk that goes higher or lower because sometimes he has a standing desk and sometimes he prefers to sit which is just his way of keeping himself active but obviously it's just sort of a testament to a fab brand but also another option if you prefer to have a desk and an office set up but between me and you I prefer mine. <laughs> So now we're back at my desk and um, another few things that um, I really like are just a little bit of decor, a bit of inspiration and a bit of something that marks this out as my space. So I have a few throw plants just because um, I can barely keep the ones outside alive at the moment and I've got three kids, a dog and two cats so 
these ones are fake and we're just gonna roll with it but I have a nice little diffuser so it makes it smell nice um just because you know this is my little tiny corner of our house and I'm, I'm very proud of it I've got some photos of my family for inspiration you can see another one here this is when we went on holiday I have my instex camera here another faux plan and then I have my light which is fab because the way I positioned it is it shines down on me now at night so when I am working particularly in the winter months as I do a lot at night and um, I have a nice little lit up space and I can still work away and write notes etc very very easily and then down here I just have like some pens set up and my memory cards down there as well I thought I would also show you a few things that really, really helped me in terms of staying organised. Um, obviously, everybody is a little bit different in the way that they work and the kind of roles they do. But if you do have a job that requires you to sit at a desk a lot, quite like I do, then these might be useful. Um, the first thing I have is a little receipt storage book. So it has monthly slots and you can link those um, receipts to that slot and it helps you stay organised for things like that. I know that... Whether or not you're self-employed or you're employed by a business, a lot of the time you will need to keep those receipts handy. And what's quite nice about this one, especially if you're going out to an event or something, you can always stick it in your bag and then you're organised straight away. Um, I found that really, really useful to have. I also have a big like diary workbook type thing. I would say this is more of a notebook um, and I can organise it based on the tabs. This is where I will write down you know jobs that I need to do for each day and um, I will write down like video ideas and um, real ideas like different concepts that I've come up with that I think might be enjoyed by someone like you and um, this is a really pretty one I found it at I think it was HomeSense um, and it's just really lovely and Again, it's my kind of design, something that I would really like and it keeps me motivated. I will normally put that in this drawer at night when I finish working so nobody fiddles with it because if my children see like paper or pads or pens, they tend to think that it's like a free for all to just colour all over them. Another thing that I really love is actually this and it was given to me as part of a gift by Mark's mum and sister and it's this little pad which again is just so useful for taking out and about with you. It has a little slot here if you wanted to put anything like you know like urgent like a card or anything like that and then this bit which you can secure with this little bit here at the top and again this is good for putting like that receipt book in it's good for putting any cables in when I'm out and about you know if I'm doing certain work at different uh, locations and things like that um, and I think I'm going to be using this for travel as well um, I'm going to keep my Kindle and any wires that I'll need for when we go on holiday in here but I thought I would show you it's fantastic and as I mentioned before obviously I feel like a grown-up because I have stamps okay they are second class stamps and a little bit slower but I do have them and then again these are fantastic for what I do we ever go away or I want to capture some shots that you know involve water in some way it just gives me a little bit more opportunity to be creative with the kind of content that I produce and as I mentioned I also have um sets of tripods so I've actually got three you're on one of them at the moment and this one that you're on is set up to mount my camera this one is actually set up to mount my phone so I have two and um, just because sometimes when I'm filming content I will film on both but this is fab and it just means that um I have them both ready to go and organized here at my desk for when I need to film my next video and as I mentioned before my ring light is also in the garage which I'll bring out a lot for more like professional or sit down videos where I need my lighting quality be, to be just right and things like that so this is ultimately um, my desk I thought it'd be a really fun way to show you the way I work I hope this was useful anyway I love seeing how people set up their desks and offices and things like that uh, for me I really really do like to make sure that I have a space to come I have worked on like a laptop in the past and just sat on the sofa or just any space that I've got but for me then it blurs your home and work life too much and I feel like sometimes it's good to have a place that when you know you are sat here you know that you are working or in my case doing a grocery order or you know 
kids homework or something like that but at least there's a place to come and also hopefully as our family gets older it's also very accessible for everybody else so if my children do need to access um, a computer it's here if they need it and um yeah i hope you found that useful and also thank you so much to thank you for working with me i am in love with this thing and i think it's going to be really helpful moving forward and hopefully it will help me create some even better content and um yeah thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day Bye.